Hey everyone, this is Joe Gamble, and uh, I'm going to attempt to quickly take you through the paces here with the Fryat Power Station 2. Uh, we're going to learn what it is, what it does, and whether or not it's the right tool for you in your current situation. Okay, so at its core, we want to think about the power station as two basic things. Okay, it has a state of the art reactive load, and it also has a 50 watt all tube power amp. So, with the reactive load, we kind of traditionally think of that as an attenuator, even though it works completely different. Uh, and we're going to make a video very soon explaining those differences. Uh, but the application is kind of the same, where you plug your, uh, your tube amp into it and uh, you can crank the thing up and uh, then bring the volume down to a manageable level uh, while keeping your tone all sweet and rad. Okay? But then with the 50 watts of tube power in there, we could also plug a smaller, much smaller amp into it and make that amp all big and huge if you want. Okay, hopefully that makes sense so far. We're gonna go a little bit more into detail about how the whole thing works. I'm gonna start with the reactive load. Okay, so the reactive load is designed to be used with another amplifier. Okay, so the idea would be that you'd plug your favorite tube amp into this thing, and then you can crank it up to the level where it normally starts to sound and feel amazing and inspiring and blissful, which as we all know, that's the level that most other humans start to scream at us to turn down and shut up and all that kind of thing, right? Um, but with the power station, we're able to harness all of that tonal and tactile goodness and bring it down to a level uh, that's suitable for any of your precious little needs, right? So that would be whisper level practicing in your apartment. It could be mic in a little cabinet in your basement midday, but you kind of need to keep the volume sort of chill. It could be, hey, I want to bring my uh, my 100 watt half stack to uh, to my coffee shop gig or something like that. It could be rehearsing in a tight space, you know, when it's a really small room or something. Or it could even be um, playing on a really large stage, but the sound people are dictating that, hey, we really need to keep a lid on the volume because I got to mix everybody and I can't have your 100 watt tube spew all over the place killing everybody, right? Make sense? So those are examples of using the power station in its most fundamental configuration, uh, which is you know between the amplifier and the speaker, and it's essentially you know acting as a leash on our amp's overall volume, but while still maintaining the same sonic and touch characteristics that the amp does at the original volume that we like to play it at. And of course, that's a wonderful tool to have at our disposal, and uh, you know worth having in our arsenal uh, just as is. But with the power station, we're actually able to take that knockdown signal and run it out to our computer for recording uh, or any other device for that matter where you think you know a tamed version of our rip and cranked amp tone might be of use to us. However, with the tube power section in the power station, you have the ability to uh, take much smaller amplifiers and give them a 50 watt tube steroid push. You know, so if you have like a five watt champ or something at home that just screams in your practice space or in the studio, but you just know would never stand a chance with your Bonham wannabe drummer back there. Um, you know, with the power station, you actually have the tools to go toe to toe with them uh, in any drummer who uh, has less than sunny intentions, uh, which is most of them, right? Okay, so now that we talked about uh, the, the two primary pieces of the power station and the reactive load and the power section, I want to quickly touch on two of the other auxiliary features um, that are really cool in this unit. And uh, the first one, uh, is what actually attracted me to the first iteration of the power station, and that's the effects loop. Um, because before I had one of these, I was always dealing with the trade-off of not being able to use like cranked amp tones with uh, time domain effects, um, because it's just not practical to run delays and reverbs into you know a cranked non-master amp and wind up with anything other than like godly gook, right? Um, so I'd have to use clean amps and get all my gain from pedals or I'd have to use uh, you know, a master volume amplifier and get all the gain from the preamp uh, and run the time domain effects in the effects loop. But you know, with that kind of setup, you know, the power section isn't contributing much in terms of you know, the overall grit and, and the tactile experience. Um, and I'm telling you, man, if, if you've never had the opportunity or if you've ever had the opportunity to play your guitar through a great tube amp you know, with a seriously cranked power section, you'd know that you just, you don't want to take that off the table um, of your tonal arsenal. And before I had this unit, you know, I was only able to get that kind of thing happening in certain studio situations. But uh, with the power station, what's going on is, uh, you know, you're able to crank your amp in to the power station, and then you have this extremely clean 6L6 power section um, with an effects loop in it uh, to amplify everything. So you can run all the spacey, jivey junk in there to your heart's content and wind up with, 
you know, extremely uh, detailed and pristine delays and reverbs, you know, all up under your Brit grit or uh, whatever sort of grime, you know, makes you smile the most. Okay, so that's the ultra simplistic basic gist of this unit, okay? You get the uh, state-of-the-art reactive load, you get the 50 watt all tube power amp, you have the ability to run uh, your signal out to your DAW or whatever line level destination you want to send it to, and you also have the smoke and effects loop. So there's some other little bells and whistles here that are super cool um, that allow you to tailor the EQ uh, of the response of the reactive load and then also the power section. And uh, the inclusion of these are uh, super helpful in getting things just right, you know, when you consider, you know, how loud you're going to be running your source amp, how loud you're going to be running the power station, uh, you know, what cab you're ultimately running through, and then also what the room is giving you back. All right, we could go a lot deeper here, but we're going to cut this primer video short. We just wanted to give you a quick overview so you could see what the unit was about and whether or not it was basically for you. Uh, in the next video, uh, we're going to demonstrate um, all these things that I was talking about in action and application. Uh, so hope to see you in the next video, and thanks for tuning in. Yeah.